Jamshedji fish. Hi, welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana. I'm Rupa here. I'm going to do a fish, a Parsi style, which is called as Jamshedji fish. So let's go and look at the ingredients. We have two medium sized pomfrets, one onion finely chopped, a tablespoon of poppy seeds, two green chilies finely chopped, a teaspoon of mustard seeds, four to five cloves of garlic, an inch of ginger, a teaspoon of cumin seed powder, a teaspoon of vinegar, half a teaspoon turmeric powder, salt to taste, and about two tablespoons of freshly cut coriander. Oil for cooking. Okay, to begin with, we have to pan fry the fish. So, take the fish and let's season it with some, a little of salt and a little of turmeric. Rub the salt and the turmeric into the fish and keep it aside for 5 to 10 minutes. Take a pan and we've marinated the fish for 10 minutes. Take some oil so that we can pan fry it. Add the fish. Pan fry them on either side till they get a nice glaze. Don't overcook them because we're going to cook them again in the gravy. Drain the fish and keep it aside. We have to grind some ingredients into a fine paste. So to grind, we require the poppy seeds, the mustard seeds, the garlic, and the ginger. Add some water and grind this to a fine paste. Yeah, it's ground to a nice fine paste. So keep this aside till it's required for cooking. Okay, so the fish is fried, pan fried, and the paste is made. So now we have to just get them together. So take a wok or a nice deep pan, add some oil. Once the oil is hot, add the onion. Fry the onions till they go brown. The onions have gone brown. Now let's add the paste to it. Fry the paste, add the turmeric, very little because we've already added some in the fish, add the cumin powder and the green chilies. Mix well, add very little water, add some salt. Salt is already there in the fish, but for the gravy. Mix well and add the fried fish in it. Very gently see that you mix the fish in the masala. Let it simmer for about two to three minutes. The fish has been cooking for about two minutes. Let's add the vinegar and some coriander. Leave some for garnishing. Just gently mix after adding the vinegar. It's got a nice mustard taste and the flavor that's coming out from the gravy. It has to be a little mustardy because there's no other masala that we have added. Just the mustard and the poppy seeds gives a nice flavor to the gravy. Let's shut it and take it for serving. Let's garnish it with some coriander and serve. The Zamshedji fish is ready. You can either serve it with bread or just plain steamed rice. It's got a very strong aroma of mustard seeds and I hope you enjoy the flavor.